Hi everybody, how's it going? This is a bunch of math that is purposely trying to intimidate you. Okay, actually, it's the math that we made in this video, and I'm prefacing this video with, if you don't understand the derivation that well, it's not really a big deal. We're very uncommonly going to do this. The point, and we're doing it for the easiest example, is to show that in the future, really all that neural networks are doing, they're calculating these derivatives, and they, they know how to get these derivatives. We are doing one by hand, so that we know the process of what's going on, but yet we're not going to learn this through the really complicated stuff because it's just not worth it. So in this video, if you don't totally understand the derivation, that's okay, but try to follow along and at least see that the end result is two different derivatives, and in the next video after this, we're going to solve the system. Now, I'm going to start with an apology because I don't, I missed a, a derivative rule, which is extremely important, is let me just go ahead and say, that the if this works for partial derivatives or normal derivatives doesn't matter d by dx of f of x plus g of x is equal to d by dx of f of x plus d by dx of g of x okay so all i'm saying is that the derivative of a sum is the sum of the derivatives derivative of a sum is the sum okay sum of the derivatives all right so just to show you with an example and this extends to f of x plus g of x plus h of x like so many like a, a big addition so with an example we have d by dx of x squared plus 2x plus 3x cubed well that is equal to d by dx of x squared plus d by dx of 2x plus d by dx of 3x cubed, and that is equal to 2x plus 2 plus 9x squared. Okay, so sorry about that. Uh, that's what we needed to do first so that we can do this derivative properly. So mean squared error is this function, which I will write over here in blue. So MSE, that is equal to 1 over n, times the sum as i goes from 1 to n of y i y i hat minus y i all squared remember we're squaring that thing okay that's the mean squared error now we want to get the derivatives with respect to beta naught and beta one well it looks like beta naught and beta one aren't even in this thing except remember this is just a short form where this is a notation for my guess based off of the i x value so y i hat is equal to y i hat that is equal to beta naught plus beta one x i okay for some particular beta naught and beta one so if that's true then we can go ahead and just replace that in here so that's one over n times the sum as i goes from one to n of our guess, which our guess of the eight, or our guess of the ith y value, well that guess is just beta naught plus beta one x i with whatever value of beta naught and beta one we happen to have. Beta naught plus beta one x i minus y i. So now that we've written it like this, we can explicitly get the derivative with respect to beta naught. So partial MSE, partial of the function, derivative with respect to beta naught is equal to, I'm just going to fill the MSE thing with exactly what it is. So that is 1 over n times the sum as i goes from 1 to n of beta naught plus beta 1 xi minus yi squared. All right. Now the constant rule says that this 1 over n ends a constant. So 1 over n is a constant. We can just push over, push this thing over right here. So that's 1 over partial by partial beta naught of the sum as i goes from 1 to n of beta naught plus beta 1 xi minus yi squared. Okay, now this is a sum, all right? It's this notation is just a way of writing a sum. It's the same thing as saying this plus this plus this. So we can do that sum rule, which we just talked about the derivative of a sum is the sum of the derivatives so we can have this one over n and then bring this derivative in and say sum as i goes from one to n of 
partial by partial beta naught of beta naught plus beta one x i minus y i squared. Now I'm going to try to explain this. If you don't totally get this step, that's kind of okay. It's an application of the chain rule because technically we have a composition here. We have this function squared, and so this is a function, square is a function, so we can use the chain rule. So what we do is we get 2 over n, or let me just keep it inside for, for clarity. 1 over n times the sum as i goes from 1 to n of 2 times this exact same thing. The chain rule says, okay, the, the derivative of this function, but at the same thing. So 2 times beta naught plus beta 1 xi minus yi. We don't touch that at all. And then it's times the derivative with respect to, remember, with respect to beta naught of this thing, okay, of that, of that other function beta naught plus beta 1 xi minus yi. All right, so now that we have that, well, this derivative over here, it's another, it's a derivative of the sum. And the, the, the interesting part is that it's really just times one, right? this thing is just one, because this part, this derivative is going to be one, beta, beta naught by beta naught is just one. This is not dependent on beta naught at all, and neither is this. So what we're going to get here is just this one, and so the whole thing, it'll be one plus zero plus zero, is just one. So actually, we get one over n times the sum as i goes from one to n of two times beta naught plus beta one xi minus yi. All right. That is our derivative with respect to beta naught. Now, let me do something similar for beta one, where it's actually a lot of the same. I'll, I'll show it from the beginning, but it, you'll notice that a lot of it's actually exactly the same thing. Over here, I'm gonna write the function again, which is, so MSE, MSE is equal to the sum or one over n times the sum as i goes from one to n of uh, beta naught plus beta one xi minus yi squared. And so partial by partial beta one of the MSE is equal to, uh, let me skip some steps here. So it's going to be that one over n is gonna be pushed out. We can get that summation. So I can definitely write right, right away it's going to be 1 over n times the sum as i goes from 1 to n of uh, partial partial by uh, beta 1. Sorry, I'm partial by partial beta 1 of beta naught plus beta 1 xi. It, that didn't look great. xi minus yi squared. And now the same thing here. We're going to have the chain rule, except it's a little bit different because we have with respect to beta one now. Now this part's the same because it's two times that same thing, beta naught plus beta one xi minus yi, except this part is the partial with respect to beta one of that same thing inside, beta naught plus beta one xi minus yi. And so that derivative is going to be just xi. This, this part is zero, this part is zero. And so that derivative over there, that is going to be xi. One over n times the sum as i goes from one to n of two times beta naught plus beta one xi minus yi times xi, all right? That is the derivative with respect to beta one. And I'll write that over here. So these are the two derivatives. And in the next video, we are going to solve this system. That's partial beta one. And this is partial, let me write in green. This is, this is partial by partial beta naught of the MSE. Okay. 
Those are our two derivatives. I should write MSE up there. And we'll solve this system by setting them equal to zero and get a formula for beta naught and beta one. I will see you in the next video.